living with dementia is like a challenge every day. It's a challenge every night. Uh, it's relentless, totally relentless and exhausting because of that. Caring for somebody living with dementia is like walking on a road that is always moving. So you learn what patience is, you learn what flexibility is, and you kind of get comfortable with not knowing. I think that's what it's like for me. I like to say you meet a family with Alzheimer's because it's not a disease of an individual patient. It's a disease that affects an entire family. And the mother, the father, the person that they know and love is changing as the disease progresses. Dementia is a terrible disease. It's one that really doesn't have a protocol. It crosses all boundaries, which is what makes it so difficult. It's personal, it's emotional. It crosses more than just health, housing, transportation, your ability to work. It's not a typical trajectory. You don't know what to expect. You don't know how it's going to impact you next. Dementia is one of the few conditions with the level of crisis that we currently have for which we have no treatments. Our research is hugely underfunded given the scale of the disease. We are currently funding about $5 per person diagnosed with dementia. That is the lowest funding for a disease period in Canada. Where do we stand with the science? Well, is there a cure for tomorrow? No, but are we a lot better off than we were 20 years ago, even 10 years ago? Yes. When you approach Alzheimer's disease, there's lots of different avenues. And have we picked the one avenue, which is going to be the road to success? Probably not yet, but we know a whole lot of avenues that we shouldn't be taking. And every time research is done, it lets us narrow that field and get just a little bit closer. What gives me hope is hearing the stories from people who are living with dementia, who are honest, who are brave in telling us what they're dealing with, and they are impatient. They don't have time to wait around for another 15 years before we figure out that this is an issue and start investing in it. I want to be part of whatever we'll do. It's easy to help when you've got it. You can talk about it. I think it's valuable for the scientific community to understand the experience of what's happening because that inspires what is studied. That sort of combination between care and cure is very important. I want to share my story because I want to help others. And I believe others can be helped. <laughs>